Hi everyone, it's Bobby at Bloomin' Hearts. I want to show you a really cute card I made this morning. It's very simple, quick and easy to do, and it's a very summery card. It has the ice cream cone from Summer Sorbet on it. Actually, it's a snow cone. It's this one here in the corner. And then I used the um, You're So Sweet stamp for the sentiment. You're So Sweet, Enjoy a Treat. And then on the inside, I used the little small ice cream cone from the Honeycomb Happiness that uh, is from Celebrations this year. It's a little small one. And then I just used a couple of pieces of washi tape that's out of the, um, I think it was called Sweet Dreams. The Sweet Something Stack. It was from uh, this summer out of Occasions. I don't see the name of it now. I tore the, the label off. There it is. Wait a minute. Yeah, Sweet Dreams Designer. I, I matched the designer paper that was in, I think it was in Occasions. Anyway, on this one I embossed with clear embossing powder, but I think I'm going to just use some um, Dazzling Diamonds on this one. And I cut a thin strip of Flirty Flamingo out of the di Designer Series paper stack. And then I just, like I said, I used a small ice cream cone on the inside. And it's just an outline, so I colored it in with the markers. On the markers, I used um, Rose Red and Peekaboo Peach. So the first thing we need to do, uh, we need to cut a piece of cardstock. This is a full 11-inch uh, sheet, and I cut it at 4 and a quarter. So when you fold it in half, it's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And the first thing we want to do is take our soft suede and stamp the sentiment up here. pretty good. And we'll stamp it over a little way so we've got enough room for that strip of polka dot. Okay. Takes care of that. And then I took the rose red marker and uh, just colored in a little bit on those brackets. Now on the ice cream cone I used the a uh, wider tip and I just colored the cone with the pe peekaboo peach just kind of lay it on its side and drag it across the stamp and then the rose red for the slushy part of the snow cone kind of looks like a if you remember the um, the sherbet ice cream they used to have raspberry sherbet it looked like this color. Okay, and if you just color it in, it'll be a little bit streaky. But that's okay, it gives it texture. Then huff on it and stamp it at a little bit of an angle. Make sure you leave some border over there for your polka dot. Let's see how that comes out swirly. That looks really cool. And then on the inside, I'm going to use the markers as well on the little ice cream cone. I hope you can see I changed my location for the, the camera and everything so hopefully you'll have a better vision. I'm so limited on space I'll tell you right now while I'm renting it's kind of difficult. Okay, there's that. Now we're just going to color in the the cone. Did I color in the cone on the inside? I don't think I did. No. I left it and I just colored in the ice cream. So we're just going to color lightly here. Just give it a little shading. have to go pretty quick with these markers because they dry really quick. And I'm 
I'll take the peach and try to smooth it out a little bit. Gives it a little bit of you gotta get to it really quick because it it dries and they're really hard to blend with. Okay, so there's your ice cream cone on the inside. And let's take this and just lightly touch in here. The more times you go over it with these markers, the darker it'll get. So try to just make it in one swoop if you can so it doesn't get too dark. Just like so. And then I'm going to use the two, whoops, excuse me two-way glue pen on this little bracket so I can put some dazzling diamonds on it and the ice cream and some on this ice cream in here oh, I forgot to put a spoon in there I have to use my fingers it's okay. A little bit of dazzling diamonds up here. Okay, there's the dazzling diamonds on it. And we're going to put two little pieces of washi tape, and these are the perfect colors to add a little something to the inside. I'm just going to put a piece of the polka dot towards the bottom. And then there's a stripe in there that's the same color as the cone. It's a little bit narrower. So I'm going to put it right above. And then I just snip them off with the scissors. Okay, and then I cut two little pieces, just really skinny strips of the polka dot uh, flirty flamingo out of the um, designer series pack for the 2016-2018 colors. And I'm just going to use the two-way glue pin on it because it's easier than doing the white glue the Tombow and they'll, they'll be a little bit longer than what I need but I can trim them off. And just match it up at the top corner down to the bottom scoot it over just a little bit unless I want it to be on the edge. Okay and then this piece on this side And we can trim those off. See how quickly that went together? And it turns out so cute. And you can see the glitter on the comb. And then there's plenty of room to write a little message and sign your card. Alright, thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure you check out my online store. And uh, you can reach me at uh, Bloomin' Hearts at stampinup.net or Bloomin' Hearts at uh, Facebook.com. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.